I'm Brittany Kinslow. I'm Elizabeth Horley. I'm Bob. And we're Group 19, and this is our DP3 presentation on Helical Fund. So first off, I'll go over the updated Gantt chart and our overall project management. Then I'll talk about our concept generation and show you the CAD models for our project. And then I'll go over the failure modes and effects analysis chart, and also the customer interviews we conducted on our final design for the BRG. And I will be covering economic analysis and the conclusion. So this is our updated Gantt chart from DP2. And we are slightly behind on several tasks because we had a failure with our elevation method that we chose, which was the fan to lift the ping pong ball up to the top of the BRG. So that put us behind on our product architecture, our industrial design and design for manufacturer phases, along with the prototyping because we had to generate another elevation method and test it for the BRG. But overall, through the entirety of the project, we have stayed mostly on track to the schedule that's presented on the Gantt chart. And we are still on track to finish the project by May 1st. As you may recall from DP2, we chose Solution 4 to be the most feasible solution for our project. Um, solution 4 included a tube fan and ramp to address the uh, sub-functions of elevating, taking the, accepting the entering ball and exiting the ball. Using Solution 4, the ball would roll down the entrance ramp into a tube that had a hole cut in it, and then the fan would then elevate the ball to the top of the BRG, where it would then go through the amino acid base pair ramps, and then out a ramp that the user would select to give the ball the correct velocity to land on the exit ramp. As we were fabricating and prototyping the solution um, on our BRG, we found that the fan actually was not powerful enough to lift the ping pong ball to the top of the BRG. This obviously posed a problem as none of the rest of the BRG was um, being used. In order to address this, we decided to use a pulley system, and this solution was composed of a basket, pulley, and a ram. We came to the solution because after analyzing our concept scoring chart from the uh, original six solutions we generated, solution one included a pulley in it and was very high ranking compared to solution four, which was the original solution we had chosen. We felt that the pulley aspect from solution one in conjunction with the ramps from the solution four would be the mo be um, another feasible solution for our project and work well. This is the overall CAD uh, layout for our BRG. Um, as I mentioned, the ball will roll down an entrance ramp into this cup, which will then be attached to a string and the pulley at the top. A motor will then um, wind up the string so and use the pulley so the basket is lifted up to the top. Then the cup will deposit the ball through here, and then it will proceed to roll down all the amino acid um, base pair ramps. Before the ball rolls down these ramps and is lifted by the motor, the user will enter the colors that they match together that represent each of the amino acids and ensure that they're correct before the ball can uh, continue through the BRG. Additionally, the user must choose the correct ramp to place at the end of the BRG, so the ball has the correct velocity to land onto the exit ramp. These were some pictures from our initial prototyping phase. Um, these, so the blue, yellow, green, and red pieces that you see, these each represent a type of amino acid and these uh, simply snap together. The user will snap together the corresponding pairs, which uh, will create these ramps. And then these ramps slim, uh, simply snap into the two supports you see on the right. Uh, one, and then uh, once again, the ball will be, the, the motor will be um, mounted on top of this one support and then the ball will el be elevated up through the pulley system and roll down the ramps and out the bottom um, on the exit ramp that the user chooses. So as Brittany mentioned earlier, from 
the failure we ran into with one of our original components of our VRG was the fan. So we decided to replace that with a motor-drawn pulley system. So um, based on our original FMEA from GP2, we thought that the motor would be the most problematic component of our VRG, but it turned out that the fan was the component that failed. So one additional uh, concern we have about using the motor-powered pulley system is that when the basket containing the ping pong ball is raised to the top of the VRG, that the ping pong ball might not tip out of the basket correctly onto the start of the first space pair ramp. And so then the ping pong ball wouldn't be able to travel down the VRG successfully. Uh, the other two components of the VRG that we had concerns about from DP2 were the base pair ramps and the supports for the ramps not being sturdy enough, but that turned out not to be a concern with our final design. For the customer interviews regarding our final design, they were overall positive, and they all thought that the structure was fairly easy to assemble for our intended grade level um, audience. And some improvements they thought we could make were making the motor mount slightly less obtrusive for the user. And also, if we had instructions were, that were slightly more detailed with diagrams that showed uh, each stage of the construction of the BRG so that users could check their progress, so that would be helpful. As for the economic analysis, our team gave initially $10,000 uh, to pay for the uh, electricity fees, maintenance fees, and the cost on purchasing machines and uh, 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 salaries for employees. Uh, we assume uh, the annual interest was 5% and uh, we are going to start our production at the first year, especially uh, we are going to start our systematic production at the beginning of the second year. And we need the addition five thousand dollars to wrap our production. Uh, hopefully and ideally, we can earn forty five hundred dollars in the last five quarters, which can make twenty three thousand uh, dollars in total in the in the end of the third year, because our products uh, are mostly made in the cardboard, which are re relatively cheap material. Therefore, the cost is reduced to $80, and the price uh, is reduced to $150. As we can see from this table, the Arduino is the most expensive component because this is an electric, electrical component. Uh, we have to ensure the safety of the students. Therefore, we have to buy the most expensive one to ensure its qualities. Uh, our team also decided to make the tube with support and the ramp by ourselves and uh, we are going to purchase machines uh, which are $5,000. The reason is that the tube and the base support and the ramp are basically made in the same materials. This $5,000 also included in the first, uh, as, as, as what I mentioned before, in the initial $10,000 investment. As you, uh, in the end, the total, is, the total cost for pro reproducing one product is $73, which is, which is underestimated because uh, we are not including the advertising fees and uh, uh, transportation fees. So as for the conclusion, in order to make sure the success of our project, we, make slightly, uh, we made slightly change, changes on our design. We changed the evaluation method from fine to uh, poorly because the fan is not powerful enough to lift out the ping pong ball into the ramp. Our, product, uh, our customers are pretty satisfied with our product uh, like design, especially our concept because our product is pretty unique. Uh, it reinforces the concept on biology. Our product is pretty competitive compared with other products in, uh, flowing in the prison market. Uh, and 
And one more issue that I want to point out is the BRG product is not a product that is going to be continuously uh, consumed by customers. Therefore, we have to update our features of, of the product frequently uh, in order to sell our product statewide and uh, exploring the new market. That's our presentation. Thank you.